Welcome back. You're still with CNBC Africa's uh, coverage of Budget 2015. Still with me in Johannesburg, Matsi Modisi, Executive Director uh, at SABEF, and Gerard Papunfo, CEO of NIASA. Uh, we're going to continue analyzing Minister Nana's maiden speech. Matsi, during the break again, offline conversation talking about that disconnect in that accountability relationship between uh, the state and small and medium-sized enterprises providing services to the state. And you're saying the 30 days that everybody is waxing lyrical about in terms of payment, that doesn't exist? It doesn't exist. I agree with that. Um, there needs to be a stronger level of accountability. Um, the government truly needs to be very, very intent on the ability to ensure that small businesses do get paid within 30 days because if you're a small business that's your lifeblood if you mm. are doing business with the government they need to I don't think too many South Africans can attest to that point of 30 um, you know 30 days um, I one of the provincial MECs declared that it's 14 days and I was like whoa we still haven't managed to do 30 days please let's not say 14 days so mm. that level of accountability let us not declare that in front of the whole nation if we have taken an audit that majority of the South African business community or small business community has been paid within 30 days. And a lot of that business happens on the back of tenders, Gerard, and now we're, we're hearing the recommitment and reinforcement of this idea of centralizing the tender process. Uh, we're told that this is to root out corruption, but of course the risk here is bottlenecks and mm. a slowing down yeah. in the yeah. pace of doing business. Yeah, well, we sit with an enormously ineffective government service. Now, you know, this is perhaps not politically the correct thing to say, but this is the case. Um, we can cut down on 33% of a government service. The only, ins the only sector that's now growing is government employees. But they will not touch that. That is something they will not touch. And uh, so we've got to live with that for the time being. As far as uh, tenants are concerned, you know, um, historically, a lot of um, entrepreneurs are white. They don't get tenors. So we don't have the problem of government not paying us. We don't get government tenors. And, um, you know, that is a very, very sensitive issue. Um, if you're existing business and you've got the wrong color, you sit with a BE code and you will not get the tenor unless you comply. Mm -hmm. Well, they will not comply. This is, this is going to be commercial suicide. And we've got to come out and say these things to the country. Let's put this thing behind us. We're not going to become rich by redistributing the wealth in that manner. This we need thing? to grow new business and we need through growth get a natural, normal um, bringing together of interests, not through codes. Right. You, you, can't, you can't have forced marriages and you can't have that in business and commercial areas. Well. well, you can have forced marriages in certain... Uh, oh, well, no, wait, no, no, I, I take that back. But, uh, Mati, you play referee here because, uh, you know, fair to say... B is not working in essence. Mm. This is what I'm hearing. What you're actually doing is you're sidelining white entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, what's your take okay. on this conversation? Well, I don't think I'll be playing referee. I'll probably be playing on the opposition of my colleague, Gerard, uh, who I have much respect for. But I cannot speak for white entrepreneurs in South Africa. I can speak for black entrepreneurs. We definitely need a framework to guide us. Yes, we have to try and make it work. If we're working outside a framework, then it's up to Gerard to decide that I will procure or I will not procure business for, from black um, suppliers. So we have to have a framework that guides us towards an, an, a euphoria whereby everybody has open and equal opportunities. So BE in that regard, yes, we require it, we need it, it's a good framework, and hoping that now that it's been amended, it's going to actually have people that have a sense of ownership and ensuring that there is political will, and corporate South Africa also wants to you know, support the growth of small businesses, because without that, then what framework can we work with? Who's going to decide how many black businesses we should procure from? How many black businesses we should allow within our supply chain and develop them and ensure that they do? Because we, we have to yeah. institutionalize it mm. through a framework of sorts. I think this is a debate that we could have for the whole evening. So I'm going to push, uh, pull down the gavel on that one. Let's talk about the public sector wage negotiation that's coming up. We've heard that the finance minister has taken the initiative. He's gone to the municipalities. He's written them a letter. He's, and his suggestion has been no more more than 5.8 percent in terms yeah. of increase yeah. you know what the union uh, negotiations yeah. are like do you think uh, that uh, the government's going to have to swallow that pull and maybe go through with whatever the unions are demanding well I, I hope 
uh, first of all, it's going to be very interesting uh, going to the negotiations with 5.8% uh, in your hand. Well, it's wonderful to have that as a negotiator because it makes it very simple. That you'll have to have a minister uh, which says we've got 5.8%, and that's it. I don't know how you negotiate if you only have 5.8%. If it can work and you can, uh, you can uh, take a firm position on that, that's fantastic. And for once, uh, we need not to go beyond that. And, uh, you know, they're demanding 15%. Yeah. And uh, I, I see a bit of a, a turbulent uh, situation we're heading towards. But I hope that uh, whoever is the minister governing that, that they will put down their foot and say no. And, uh, you know, a good strike for, from time to time is a very good thing. It's a very healing process. Mm. So perhaps South Africa must take that and um, we must not give, go beyond that. We cannot afford it. The, 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 the wage bill of the government is not sustainable. Mm. For the small business, we've got two minutes left as we wrap this up. Mm. Uh, Mati, the small business taking a, a, a page out of this particular speech, do they walk away with the sense of the government is behind us, they are trying their best to create a conducive environment so I can make my money. I would say yes, it's leaning more towards the positive side. However, I would have loved to hear what the small business ministry is going to do because yes, they've been allocated a 3.5 billion budget. Last year, the minister said that he's going to spend 6.5. So there has been a reduction towards spending towards small businesses. The intent is there, but it has to go beyond the planning. It has to now be how do we implement it? And I guess all of us need to play our part. All of us need to play our part. Uh, your final takeaway uh, from the budget, if you could wrap it up, uh, what stood out positively for you and what's your biggest headache from what we heard today? Well, let me just say this and repeat this. I think the minister did a very good job within the constraints that he has. I mean, you, while, he's doing, while he was doing his speech, everyone could have been proud upon him. But, but the, 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 the fact is nothing has really changed. I think the changes are very cosmetic. Um, and uh, you know, each, uh, for the last 10 years we had fantastic ministers of finance and it's not, the problem is not at the budget speed, it's between budgets when, when things need to happen, it's not really happening. Mm. Uh, we don't have the will to make it happen. Um, so we need to get a culture of really hard working, work towards the goals he's, he's set. And, and I want to say it again, I don't necessarily agree with what, what he's doing, but he did a good job today. The minister did a good job today, seems to be the resounding sentiment. A very big thank you to Mati Modise. She's the executive director at SABEF and Gerard Papenfus. He's the CEO of NIASA. And that's it for this CNBC Africa, South Africa budget special. Straight after the